didn't think there was a remote possibility our library would ever close in my you know lifetime. Hoquiam's library started lending out books in 1911. And it's still pretty much the same. It's like walking back in time. This is where you would go if you just kind of don't really know what you want. Nikki Thurman brought her baby daughter here in the 1980s. I think they'll get a lot of community support and I think I don't know, there might be an uprising of some kind. Every single light fixture that you see in here right now will be replaced. City Administrator Brian Shea just helped secure more than a million dollars in grants to renovate the city building. Oh, I was absolutely shocked. Uh, totally caught us by surprise. Oakwiam's Library, along with Montesano's, Oakville's, and four other Timberland Regional Library branches are on a list of libraries that might be shut down. It's not good. It, it, it hurts. Public Services Manager Allison Grubbs says Timberline libraries are trying to find a way to avoid deficits. We are facing um, some pretty stark financial realities. With checkout numbers dropping along with branch visits, she says it may be time for the system to save money by combining branches and focusing on outreach. Instead of demanding people come to us, we acknowledge that they're not, so how can we make ourselves more convenient to you? There's talk of book delivery or drive through kiosks, increased visits to schools and senior centers, and expanding the system's digital library. There's low income out there that can't afford these tablets that uh, go out of date every six months. But for longtime patrons like Dave Ludlow, who relies on face-to-face -face interactions for finding what he needs, the libraries are not just a place to get books, they're community cornerstones. I just could not believe that it would go. I really hate to see it go. Not just for my personal benefit, but for the community. Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.